Hi, my name is Oliver from Coconetics and today I want to demonstrate uh, a small app that we're working on to you. Uh, it's of use for anybody who's using Urban Airship. Say you are a developer and you're developing an app for somebody uh, where you are implementing Urban Airship for push notifications. You probably have seen the Urban Airship website uh, where you configure your apps and then you have this form to uh, send notifications. Now we kind of felt this is not really mm, very uh, user-friendly especially if you are say uh, meeting a, the client and want to demonstrate uh, the functionality of your app to him. So what we set out to build we called Urban Airship Commander. Uh, don't mind the artwork, I, I dabbled that together myself, we have to get that kind of more nicely designed, but I can sh uh, show you what the app does. Uh, what you do the first time you launch it, you configure the apps you have. So I've already con configured a test app here. Uh, what you do is just uh, push the plus button, you can uh, specify the name of your app, you can even select an icon if you have one in, in your saved uh, photos. For example, you could browse the Urban Airship website and uh, download the image or get it some, somewhere, else, somewhere else. Then there's this application key and master secret, uh, which you get from the uh, uh, details of your app. So the application key is this one and the master secret is here. I, I won't show you because otherwise you would bother me with your messages. Um, and the other thing that's cool is you can uh, configure custom fields and those get uh, added to the, the dictionary that is sent to Urban Airship. So uh, say your app has certain uh, functionalities that get triggered by these custom fields, you just configure them once uh, and then uh, you can also specify default value. Say for example for iCatalog we've got a uh, download uh, a catalog uh, dictionary item Do download catalog and say the default uh, value should be latest so this is set up uh, for this app and so you don't need to configure that anymore and so then you would go save I've already prepared that uh, and uh, the app looks like this so if I go edit you can see I've got this all filled in uh, let's actually change this to download, download, catalog, latest, save. This we don't need anymore. Okay, uh, and once you save, um, it validates uh, your application key and secret, so you can be certain that this, this works. Uh, if you don't change it, of course, um, uh, it, it won't do the check. And then the, the nifty thing is basically in uh, this list of apps that you have here, you just push on the app and uh, you can see here the custom field, it's set, set with the default value, but you can uh, change it to anything uh, you like. Um, you can uh, specify an alert, say hello world. And this, this uh, uh, stepper control is very nice for the badge value. Because what you can do is you can either set it to a, a number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, or if you set it to 0, it would clear the value, or you can set it to keep the badge. So uh, you, you can choose to not modify the uh, value uh, of the badge that shows on the app icon. And if you have a sound file, you can put this in here as well. Um, well, let's, let's just uh, assume that I want to send this alert together with the custom field uh, download latest. So what I would do is push send, it would send it. And if there's uh, no error, then you don't get an error message. But there's this log file where you can actually see uh, the messages you've already sent. And if you click on one of these, you see the individual values that you sent, uh, when you sent it, and uh, also the result. And the other cool thing here is, um, say, uh, this is a catalog and this message uh, would make sense to send that every time there's a new catalog, say every month, uh, instead of having to uh, 
add all of these values again, what you just do is you copy to new message and you see it's all filled in and you're good to go. You just hit send once more. Uh, let's do that. And you've sent, sent it another time. Yeah? Um, now, uh, the other thing that you've seen here, um, if I uh, choose to send a message, is this broadcast switch. Now, default is for it to be on and that means the uh, notification that you want to send goes to all the registered user devices. Um, in this case, it's a test app, so it would only be uh, my registered devices, but if that were a production app, it would go to tens of thousands of users. Uh, now, if you want to test something, well, uh, what you want to do is uh, there's this devices tab and see, I've already got my iPhone 5 set up. So what you could do, uh, that's uh, set, set with uh, favorite on. So uh, if I um, uh, do a new message uh, and switch off the broadcast, you see I can select devices and uh, by default all the uh, devices that you send to uh, this is my um, favorite will be uh, selectable here. So uh, I can turn this off and turn it on and if I had like five or ten test devices uh, I could could add them. So um, one thing we, we still have to research I think it might be that you would uh, have to have these uh, devices uh, on a per app basis because uh, for for some reason it seems to work with UDIDs, though I'm uh, a, a bit... That, that might change. This uh, devices tab uh, might stay here or it might be moved to the apps. But the point being of, of this whole uh, exercise, uh, what you can do is uh, when you meet with the client and want to demonstrate uh, the push notification thing, uh, you just have the thing on your uh, iPhone and maybe on your on the iPad uh, or, or a second iPhone or, or maybe even the same one <laughs> uh, you you have a build of your app uh, that uses push notifications and so you can easily demonstrate uh, the thing uh, to the client and it's very powerful because it's you don't have to go to a website and enter some things but you just say okay uh, copy this message send it and you're good to go now Urban Airship Commander, or as we call it UAC, um, is available for beta testing. Uh, if you, you or your company is using uh, Urban Airship for, for any project and you feel that this might uh, make your life easier, then get in contact oliver at coconetics.com and I'll see if I can hook you up uh, for the beta test. Uh, the plan eventually is to put this app on the App Store and for very cheap because uh, we build it basically for ourselves. But if it's of use, then why not let everybody have it? Alright, so that's Urban Airship Commander from Coconetics. See ya.